absolutely uh, going to be really exciting for this group. Uh, all the seniors have worked so hard over the last three years to get to this point. And now that the park place is ready to go, we've been in there for tours. Uh, the place looks great. We're excited. The guys are excited. They're, they're, they're really amped up for it. And, uh, it should be great. It's just an unbelievable combination for the last three years. I mean, you know, they've really expanded their games over the last few years. And, and they just do a tremendous job. They're so versatile. Their ability to drive it, their ability to attack, their ability to shoot threes. Um, they've really expanded their games. And, and they're as tough, if not tougher, than any other combination in the league. Um, I'm very fortunate for the first year coach to have these guys um, this year. And, and, and they're a great duo. Decision we made going into Jason's sophomore year that playing the both of them together uh, would be better than one backing up the other. Um, they're both two of the more talented guys in our league. Um, CJ Garner does not get really the recognition, the recognition that I think he deserves. Uh, his speed and ability to get in the lane, um, he's really difficult to guard. He's got an uncanny ability to finish um, at 5'11 to be able to go against those, those big guys and be able to finish the basket. Uh, is quite, a, quite an ability, and he gets fouled a ton too. So and he makes his free throws. So he's a tremendous, uh, a tremendous player. And Jason Brickman, what can you say about him? He's, he's uh, the best passer in the country, as far as I'm concerned. His ability to, to see things that nobody else sees. Um, they really feed off of each other. They play well together, together in transition. And both of those guys, and you know, and, and Ed Jamal and Julie, they're a big reason why we were second in the, league, in, the in the country in scoring the last two years. A unique style of play is first and foremost. You don't see this style of play quite a bit. Um, they they press and trap uh, throughout the game. They do lots of different things that way, and they're trying to get the pace up. It's different. It, it's a little bit like Iona. It's the only school that we've, we've seen in the past that plays like this. They're trying to be really aggressive on the offensive end, too, and score a lot of points. They'll play fast in transition, but they really feed off their defense. They're going to trap in the full court. They're going to trap in the full court try and get our, our guys to play fast, to take quick shots or turn us over. And, and obviously that's going to be a huge key to the game because taking care of the basketball and taking the right, right shots.